Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a challenge of doing my makeup in alphabetical order. I've already done my pre-list, shall we say, on my phone. So if you don't want to see what happens in this video, then stay here and let's just get started. So the first thing it asks us to do, blush. So the blush I'm going to be using today is Liz Earl and this is Rose 04 and that's what it looks like in that side. I'm going to take a normal brush and try and probably apply it quite heavy because when we put the foundation on you probably won't be able to see it so if you apply it heavy then you might be able to get a slight glimpse but we'll see. I'm actually sat at my dressing table so I'm going to be using my large mirror so you can see me looking that way that's why. Whoa. I wasn't expecting that. I'm not used this blush yet. I didn't realise how strong the pigment was actually going to be. And we can tell right now I'm looking a bit like Aunt Sally. Ooh. I think that's enough blush because my cheeks are looking very red right now. Moving on from blush, I think next up is bronzer. Yep, correct, bronzer. My boo bourgeois maxi delight bronzer got a little bit of a shimmer to it i don't know if you can tell but it has bronzed my face up like i say again i'm going to try and load it on so if you can actually see it through my foundation because i'm going to be looking very pale after this okay i think i'm going to leave it that because now i'm pretty sure we're on to contouring our face yeah, no one actually, forget that, we're on to concealer now. So I'm going to just grab my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer. And this is in shade Fair. Concealer's pretty much done. You have to excuse the lighting as well because I'm trying to work with natural daylight. As you can see, the sun is not deciding if it wants to come out or not. So just, you know, just ignore the daylight situation. So now we're going on to contour. So I've got my Clinique Chubby Stick. So again, just put it all over my face to try and bronze myself up. Let's get an angle brush. Don't really know how my skin is going to react to this it's putting so much product so heavily on my face but i guess we'll see and i've only just fake tanned so my pores are going to be going berserk at me next week i'm just hoping it all calms down before i go on holiday because i really have been looking after my skin recently and it's actually been looking really good um, blush bronzer concealer contour and now we need to do my eyebrows. I'm just going to grab my same old, same old PS Skinny Brow Pencil and this is in shade Tan. Is it just me or does anyone else get spots in their brows? I've been getting a lot recently and I don't understand why. Okie dokie, that is my eyebrows done. After oh making such loud noise so eyebrows now I need to do my eyeshadow I have actually bought saffron barker's new palettes recently i got the three eyeshadow palettes on beauty but i think it's like 50 pound but then you got their free brush set like the 12 piece brush set so it's a pretty good deal really this is love affair and these are what the shades look like really do need to clean my eyeshadow brushes like they're a bit of a mess and it does actually come with a mirror inside. How good's that? I don't know about you, but I like to put my eyeshadow on after I've done the foundation. I know a lot of people do apply their eyeshadow before doing the foundation so they can eaten it up on the sides, but I just can't do it. I've tried it before now, but it just went horribly wrong. I think it's just what you're used to. I'm going to take this sort of like ready burnt colour and just put it in my crease now I'm going to grab this darker colour on the other side just 
just going to take this middle glittery shade here and just use my finger to apply it on to my lid. Wow, that is very glittery. And that is pretty much our shadow done. Blush, bronzer, concealer, contour, eyebrows, eyeshadow, and now we need to go on to foundation. I'm just gonna grab my Kiko Milano foundation, which is in skin tone, and it's Warm Rose 20, and grab a buffer foundation brush. I don't think you'll actually be able to see any blusher or bronzer once I've applied this. It isn't a full coverage foundation, but it is buildable. Same with eyebrows actually. I much prefer to do my eyebrows after I've done my foundation because then you have to smoothly go around them and try not to smush them after you probably spent about 10 minutes doing them. Next is highlighter. I've got the Safe Does Nails Revolution Collaboration highlighter set. So I'm just going to take this lovely shade here and go over my cheekbones. Quite stunning that shade. Look at that glow. This challenge isn't actually going too bad. I thought it was going to be a lot worse, but it isn't. So now we need to go on to lip gloss. Lip gloss I'm going to be using is my Kiko Milano, and this is in shade 17. This is a 3D Hydro Gloss. And it tastes like vanilla and I love it. Yep, next is a lipstick. So this is from Primark and it's called Lustra and it's a really really nice, almost like a pinky corally colour. These people, if you heard that beeping noise then, they like they think it's funny to go down the road at night and beat the horn like four times continuously. I'm talking about half 10, 11 o'clock at night when everyone's going to sleep, especially with a baby next door. Not very considerate, is it? So lip gloss, lipstick, and now we've got mascara. So I've got a travel size version of the Benefit Bad Gal Bang. And I'm just going to put these on to my lashes. Do you like this mascara a lot? Although I am finding at the moment that it does transfer quite a lot onto my upper eyelids and it's getting very annoying especially if you've got eyeshadow on as well it isn't the what's the what do you call it the um it isn't the um most convenient thing now we need to go on to powder i'm using my laura mercier translucent setting powder The only thing now is it's getting to that stage where I'm going to start putting liquid products on my face and I've just set my makeup into place, so brilliant, thumbs up to that everybody. So it says I now need to prime my skin. I've just got to put this liquid product on top of my powder and rub it into my face because I'm priming my skin. Mmm, <sighs> yum. Let me just start rubbing this into all my foundation might as well rub off all my concealer whilst I'm at it as well rub my powder off prime that skin I mm. think that might be nice and rubbed in now finally we're on to our last step now and that is to set this beautiful makeup in place so I'm just going to use my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus it smells gorgeous this and that's it my makeup is done for the night I say night, what time are we on? It's 4.20, it isn't night just yet. But I am going out later and I don't think I will be wearing this makeup out. I think it won't stay in place and it just looks like I've ran the London Marathon basically. But there we go, that is this challenge over and done with. If you do have any challenge ideas, please comment them down below. If you did like this video, make sure you smash a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you next week for a brand new video. In a bizzle.